Dr. Y said, this stream is gross. Jacob, please start acting up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking I just let you go, you. man. Next up at UFC Vegas 71, we have Francis Marshall taking on William Gomez. Francis Marshall undefeated in his career, 7-0 overall. He's got five stoppage Williams, Williams wins. He's taking on William Gomez, 11-2 overall, 5-0 in his last five. He's riding a 9 fight win streak this is another one this line collapsed in on itself but francis marshall is still a two to one favorite he opened out as a four to one favorite the line collapsed and he's still a massive favorite here i actually i think he should be a favorite you and i disagree you'll talk about that in a second francis is a heavy-handed grappler he comes forward he's got power on his feet he's got speed on his feet and he sets up good old-fashioned shoot doubles and singles takedowns and then he's got solid grappling he's comfortable striking he can be a little too comfortable at times right hands a little low playing these stupid games that he should not be playing good point. but once he gets going once he starts grappling it's fantastic he's got all the energy he's ever needed and and well-timed shots to get through that he is taking on William Gomez now William Gomez very well rounded he's l always looking for a finish he can knock you out. He can submit you. He can outwork you. He's fast. He's athletic. He's all the things. Very, very dangerous guy. He's got a Muay Thai striking style. He's not really like offensive grappling as much as he is snatching things up in scrambles. But he is finding them. He is grabbing them. I think Francis wins this fight. What I will say, though, is these are two young prospects. And I said this in my quick picks. They could both be ranked by the end of next year or mid-next year. They could be able to be ranked. I don't know why the UFC is like, hey, let's take these two guys that we could turn into something. Let's make them fight each other now. Because one of well, them is going to lose. If they fight for a title here in, in three years, they can put the number two next to it, the big rematch. Oh, just, oh you know, actually, you, you hear about the massive rematch. Oh, about to the get. big main event. Yeah, go ahead and make that announcement. We, we just event. found out. This nope. is the main event. And this is a rematch we've all been looking for. I'm not, I'm legit pumped. I know. I, I, when you told me, I was like, there's no way. It was crazy. And it's, and thank God because we just lost a Benio Darius fight. Like, we've had right. some bad news. Yeah, these la these next couple weeks. And then there's, I mean, even that the 288, it's like, yeah, it is what it is. But, yeah, this is one's fucking, this is pumped. No, the UFC just announced we are going to get Raquel Pennington versus Irene Aldana too. The, I mean, Pumped. Oh my god! Pumped. Main just, event. Just hearing you say it out loud again, I'll be honest with you. If I didn't jerk off earlier, I adjust these peas. Actually, you know what helps with that? Peas. Peas, yeah. You think Cold so? peas. Cold peas and the peen. Anyway, I think Francis Marshall can win this fight. Uh, I think he's going to come forward. He can do that relentless wrestling and get it done. He does have insane power in his hands. Francis Marshall has good power in his hands, and he can wrestle. And William Gomez can be gun shy. So if William Gomez is gun shy and Francis Marshall decides to wrestle, Francis should absolutely win this fight. Shouldn't be an issue. Am I betting it? No. Was I tempted to bet it? Yes. Am I? Is the issue that maybe they removed my, my confidence, my manhood, a little bit more than Your just mojo. a couple of snips? They took my mojo. Could be because I wanted to bet it and I chose not to, but. Maybe we get lucky with a Francis Marshall takedown line that looks something like a half or one. But um, I think Francis Marshall wins. Why don't you tell us why you disagree? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how Francis Marshall wins this fight. I know everyone assumes, and the odds are the way they are, that he just can come in here and out-wrestle the striker. I mean, that has to be what everyone just assumes. Francis Marshall can come in and start wrestling William Gomez, going to dominate this, this, this French striker. And let me just preface this, too, by saying I am going to pick Gomez in this fight. But I am a little bit wary because the last two Frenchmen really screwed me over. I mean, Imavov <laughs> and Gon, I was I was so high on both of them, and I'm about to be even higher on William Gomez in this matchup because I just love his striking. You do mention it's a little bit slow. It's a little bit methodical. He will literally just stand flat-footed with that. Like, he's in a Muay Thai fight. He will just stand there and just wait for you to make a move, and then he will try to snipe you. On the ground, he is very, very well improved. He, he even has said in the past, when I started fighting, everyone, when I'd go to the gym, they were just out wrestle me and i promised myself that i will never get out wrestling in a fight he he took it on himself and you love when fighters do that right i mean hey darren till you stupid fuck <laughs> you know you love seeing people improve 
And not only did he learn how to defensive wrestle, but now he is using wrestling in his own right to win fights. He won that last fight because of his wrestling against a, I know it's not wrestling, but against a judo black belt that he had in body lock situations. And he still was out able to position him to takedowns, win scrambles, get that strong wizard, throw him over and, and get top positions. And I just think that France is going to come in and really kind of understand that there are levels to this game. And William Gomez is not somebody that he can just come in, take down and out wrestle. And you mentioned the power on his hands his last fight was his very his first ever professional knockout tko and it was against marcelo rojo i have all i, I absolutely love i was gonna say rojo. he's a dog but he's a he's a he's a very hittable guy he gets dropped all the time and you know even marcelo rojo on the feet at times was lighting francis marshall up as you mentioned that was a great point by you he can get too comfortable in the striking i think the exact same thing happens here because he's going to push forward williams is going to wait so francis is going to feel like he's having success in the striking because he's pushing william back and he's just going to get sniped and even if it goes to the ground i think william can control positions on the ground i think that when i broke this down i thought it was going to be probably about a pick em because they are young guys and they're both up and comers and then I saw the odds. I'm like, what in the fuck is going on? And I can't even believe they opened at minus 400. Give me Willie Gomez in this all day, every day. Last chance for the Frenchies. Yeah, I mean, um, I think, yeah, we're obviously split on this. I do think Francis wins, but I didn't bet it. Um, but I'm also just a little more conservative than you in general. Um, $9,200 in DraftKings? No, no. Because, you know, there's too much risk there. Because William Gomez could absolutely stop him. And I know Francis has stoppages, but he's not, you know, five of seven. That's a lot, but it's not like he's absolutely blowing through everybody who's existing. And if, and if he gets in a position where he's on the back of William Gomez, I'm going to be sitting here with my William Gomez pick and shitting my pants. I mean, that's how, yeah, if, yeah. If, if he, if he is, is able to get to those positions, he can definitely win the fight. I don't want to seem like he has no chance in this fight, even though I kind of said that in the beginning of the, uh, the <laughs> even breakdown. Even though but, I literally said But I just think that William Gomez is going to be the better striker in uh, what should be a mostly striking matchup. Yeah, I think uh, I would bet you here, but you're gonna say, "Oh, I want odds," and I'm not. I'm not laying out two to one odds on Francis Marshall, but uh, I do think Francie gets it done. I'm going for America. Here. How about it's you weird. want to do this? I'll bet you straight up, but there has to be a finish. Either Francis has to finish William, or William has to finish Francis, and then I'll bet you straight up hundred bucks. And it's a push because I don't want to. No yeah, because I don't want to lose a bet if Francis just lays on him for fifteen minutes. I don't. All right, I'll do that. that. With I'll straight do that. odds, you know what I mean. All right, okay, hundred. So it has to be a finish, otherwise it's a wash either way. All right, fair enough. I'm fair so game. Smart. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is the, the first time. This is the first time <laughs> we. So smart. This is the first time we've bet that it didn't start with an argument. It's usually like you know what, fuck, fuck it, hundred up. Well, that sounds like you. I would never act like that. Yeah, no, you're a always... cool, uh, cool, calm, and collected. Cool as That's... that cucumber that you've been using for your fucking balls. It's peas. Well. And sometimes, they're starting I, to... sometimes you slide that cucumber down the ball. <laughs> okay, all right. The kid who keeps bananas in his freezer is going to lecture me about cucumbers. Uh, we had a lot of fun with some bananas Saturday on the live stream. I, if you guys I, haven't watched the live stream, they're a lot of fun. Anyway, all right. Well, Jacob and I are split on this. We do have a bet amongst each other. And if you want to see if there's bets on premium, and there are on this fight... Go to wewantpicks.com, click become a member. It's $10 a month. You're going to get absolutely everything, including my safety parlay, which hits. It missed last week, but even with last week's miss, it hits at 70%. It's up was it six last week? Um, uh, what's his name? Was it a round line? Chris oh, Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Chris yeah, Gutierrez. Fucking, yeah. He broke me too. He absolutely blew it. Um, and I went Gutierrez instead of Hoffa Garcia because I was like, Gutierrez has... The, but I trust... Pedro Munoz to suck more than I trust Clay Guida to suck. And yeah, that was a mistake on my part. But even with that loss, the safety parlay hits at a 70% clip. 7-0% clip on the year. That safety parlay is up six cool. total units. If you're new to premium only want to try one thing, try the safety parlay. It has never been down money oh, over the God. course of a 30-day period. Ever. There's that jinx.